Hey guys, how are you all doing? We're still in the new year. Happy new year. <laughs> guys, so today I have a story time for you all. You know, I mentioned in my past videos that I'm going to do story time. A lot of you are like, Chi Chi, tell us story time. Guys, I have a lot of story time. This one, I'm going to tell you the fun story time, but this one is a little bit sad. Like, okay, by the way, if you're United Kingdom and you're looking for a mobile hairdresser, mobile beautician anywhere in the United Kingdom, you can book on mobile Afro hairdressers and beauty.com. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I just remember the story time like um, two weeks ago, someone actually called me and she reminded me about the story. Like, yeah, the person that called me that rem reminded me about the story is actually somebody. That came to rescue me <laughs> yeah when I go into this problem so the person actually reminded me like do you remember do you remember when okay so yeah so I'm gonna tell you the story time so you guys I almost went to prison I almost went to prison believe it or not your girl actually almost went to prison I don't know if I will actually go to prison because I will go to court for sure or yeah I will go to court but I might not go to prison because guess what there was no proof there was no proof about this incident like you can't actually prove it you can't actually prove that I did this you can't prove it it's just gonna be like I saw you saw I do this and there's no proof there's no way you can actually prove this okay so yeah, so maybe I might not go, but it's actually one of the, I think growing up, this will be the worst day of my life. So, okay, this is how it goes, yeah. This is also the reason why I have trust issues. This is also the reason why I don't have a lot of friends as well. Like, I just don't trust people. If I'm dealing with someone, I trust you, but I don't entirely trust you. I always have like trust issue i was like mm, the person what about if this person do this what about if this person do this okay to me so i don't completely 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 i'm not one of those friends you know when people someone and somebody fight i'm not one of those people you know when you're you know when you and your friend fight yeah and she can actually say a secret about you that you're gonna be ashamed of i don't trust people to that extent i would tell them something secret if that makes sense I'm going to tell a friend something that I know. If you say it out, I'm going to be like, yes, I said so. So what? Yes, I said so. I'm not going to tell a friend something that I don't, like, I don't want somebody to hear. Like, I would just, I just don't trust people to that extent. So, to the story. Okay. This happened. Guys, remember to tell me I like kids. Yes, I'm looking cute. You guys asked me to be wearing more black hair this hair you guys i know you all always ask me where is the hair from some of my hair are from like yes the reason why they always look fresh when i wear them because i have a lot of wigs so because of that i don't wear them often you know how people wear wigs every day every day every day every day every day i don't wear my wigs like that and you, as you know and as you know as well ah, and as you know, I always braid my hair. So when I wear wig, like now, I'm going to wear wig, wear wig, wear wig, then I'm going to braid my hair, then I wear wig. Some people don't braid their hair, so they just wear wig, wigs to, they just wear wig back to back, back to back, you know, like that. So this hair is actually over four years and it's really long. Let me show you guys. It's long. It's 30 inch, okay? If I remember the company that I got the hair from, I'm going to put it in the description box. But let me know. I'm looking cute as always <laughs> okay back to the story so this story happened when i was i just finished secondary school so i will be probably 17 or 18 so it's not long after i finished secondary school this happened so okay how will i start the story so there is this girl she lived i have to think about it because it's actually a while if this person did, if this if this person did not remind me i might i just forget like i forgot about it but it's not one of those days i want to remember okay so there's there is 
there are there are these girls here they live like behind my house okay so i live in an estate and there's these girls they live behind our house there are they are mixed race so they are mixed back in the days yeah mixed race girls they ha we have a lot of mixed race girls in our in our estates okay so there are these particular ones that live like we live like in a nice you know flat but they live somewhere like you know those houses they just build and it just like behind your house something like that you know and the kind of person they are like there are all these girls that always go out in the night you know what i mean yes they walk at night if you know what i mean okay obviously because they are light skin mixed race and all that kind of stuff just an easy easy job for them to do easiest easiest not easy easiest job for them to do you get so my mom yeah because because they live behind our house if you if you come out of, if you come out from my house like downstairs you you have to pass through their house all the time so they always come out in front of their house and they will sit in front of their house and these people i'm telling you about they are they are two girls they are older than me so let's say if i'm 18 this will be like 28 so i call them auntie so i call her auntie rachel her name is rachel and i call her auntie rachel everybody around call her auntie rachel you get so when i'm going to like get water fetch water buy water or anything like that or just buy something so when i'm going to buy something i have to pass through there and she always come out to see it and some group of girls and they'll be smoking with guys and stuff like that and i'm like auntie rachel how are you i agree you know normally how nigerian girls do so there is there is this day i will just pass and she's like oh chi chi how are you people always like me i'm this kind of person if i'm around anywhere you like me you have no choice you're gonna like me only if you're a hater that's when you're not gonna like me like what's not there to like even as a baby people love to carry me my mom used to tell me even as a teenager everyone loves me baby okay so so there there is this day i normally don't talk to them okay i forgot this part my mom you know how nigeria typical nigeria mom ah when they see people that have that kind of behavior they will warn you so one day my mom saw me talking to them and my mom called me and she said chichi I don't want to see you with those girls. I don't want to see you anywhere around them. I just don't want to see you. Don't talk to them. And my mom had this thing like, don't talk to, don't talk to people. And I'm like, oh, how am I even going to do that? Like, it's not even possible. If I'm passing and they will call me, I will not just talk to them. Like, mom. And my dad is, my stepdad is always like, leave this girl alone. You know what I mean? Leave her alone. She can talk to people, but just don't go to the house. There is this day, my mom saw me like in the house coming. My mom actually... She actually, my, my mom actually dealt with me because she saw me coming out from their house. Like, Chichi, did I not tell you not to go there? My mom just felt that there are, there are bad influence because I was younger, so, and you know, I just finished secondary school. My mom is just always scared, like, she's gonna get pregnant, only girl. I don't want her to get spoiled. She just don't want me to just, she just feel like if I mingle with these people, I'll start smoking and doing the most because I'm light skinned as well. You know what I mean? So, she think like, oh, she just will, she would think she can blend with these people. So, okay, that's my mom part. My mom do not like these people. She just don't like them. Okay. So this auntie, she always called me to come and help her like write. So one day she called me to come and help her type. These people are just mixed race, but they don't even know how to read. They don't know how to type. Even when they pronounce something, you're like, oh. So you're just fine for nothing. You know what I mean? So she noticed, obviously, that I'm very brilliant. I've always been brilliant. Hello. So she, she noticed one day that I'm always brilliant in school and all that kind of stuff because she talked to, oh, one other person who, who is in my school is in their compound as well. Yeah. So that one always like, oh my God, Chichi is very clever and all of that. So th there's this day she called me that she come and help her type. She want to send message, yeah to people she always asks me to come and type for her when she wants to send a message to people it's not confidential message like no more message or she wants to ask something she wants to write essay she always fights with people i don't know why well maybe because of the job she does she always fights with girls that she has to explain write essay to one person and this is when phone just came out like new you know then this phone now everybody have phone and stuff so she always have this problem with somebody 
she, because sometimes she goes to the hotel and she stays there for a week before she comes back so she would she just go like one week two week she will always have problem with one person that she have to type this long essay then she would ask me to say it and she would ask me to type now type she like she would type she would tell me what to say oh tell them when i got there this this happened so this is that and i will write it for her then she likes me you know she just like me and the thing is this yeah because my mom always tell me don't call money from anyone i know for a fact that she would i would never collect anything from her so this is not about because she gave me so she never even give me because you know how girls are they just they are smart you know like now like girls are like give out they don't really have enough so i don't even expect her to actually give like that so because she's hustling like she have a baby she had a well. she had a baby her sister have a baby her brother just like mm. so it's just like her mom is black okay so her mom is a black woman also oh so yeah my mom is black and they are mixed to their dad is probably like that so my mom just doesn't like them let me know so so the thing is this yeah because she always called me to write on the right and that's when i was coming out from my house that my mom saw me and my mom dealt with me she asked me never to go there again and all that kind of stuff yeah stuff like that so there is these boys you know because they smoke blah 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 there is this other guys group of bad boys that smoke as well you know, so the way she always used to ask me to come and help her type something, there is this guy also that used to come to her house that is smoke as well. That boy is actually a brother as well, okay? In Nigeria, if a customer is older than you, then his name or her name, they'll be like, they might even deal with you. Like, don't you have respect? Something like that, okay? So this boy, they also do together. Yeah. So this guy, what I did not know is, yeah, I did not know she's dating these gangster boys. I did not know. I just felt that, okay, because of the way she is, she's very pretty. I thought she would not have anything to do with those kind of boys, but you never know. These girls, because they smoke and they can actually date anyone. I didn't even know she can actually date those people. Like, I did not know until later on. So the thing is this, these guys, obviously, they are bad boys and all those, all those kind of stuff. What I think is, it's okay, no, not what I think. This will be later. So the, this day, yeah, she called me. To her house and she said chichi i'm looking for my phone and i'm like your phone i don't know i didn't see your phone why she's like oh she lost her phone and she think no and someone said that would be the one that would take her phone i don't know if she said she think or somebody said or somebody saw me she just told me that i'm with her phone like no i'm not with your phone I thought it was just a simple thing that she would call me, you know, like an auntie and she asked me her phone because I didn't have her phone. So I was hoping she would see the phone anyway. Maybe she just misplaced it. So I was just thinking this is like a joke, you know. So I went upstairs, went to my house, blah, 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 blah. I didn't know this matter was still there. So before I know it, she sent one of her, see her friend to come and call me. I can't remember exactly who called me. But I know someone came to call me that Rachel is calling you. I went again. She's like, I have not seen my phone. Blah, 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 blah. Dun, 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 dun. At that point, I saw that he was getting serious because that guy is already is, is in the room as well. And the guy was like, oh, you, need, you think you're smart. You think you're smart. You have to bring that phone. It's like a Motorola phone, something like that. You have to bring that phone. You have to bring that phone. And I'm like, I don't have your phone. Like, Aunt Rachel, how can I have your phone? I don't even have your phone. And at this point, okay, let me clarify this point. At this point, I already have a phone. I already have a phone, okay? So there is no way I'm going to actually take her phone. Because I have my phone as well at this point. I have my phone as well, okay? And at this point, again, I forgot to tell you this. As soon as I finished secondary school, I was working, I was teaching, and I was collecting salary. So I have money. Like, yeah, it's not like big money, but you know how you teach others, you know, primary one, primary two people like that. I was teaching, so I was actually working. So I was like, no, I'm not with your phone. And to Rachel, she's like, oh, you're my phone, blah, blah, blah. She kept going. She started raising her voice, and they probably were like, yes, you are with the phone. Don't lie, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm not with the phone. She's like, oh. If you're not with the phone at this point i was like oh my god my mom must not know this my mom must know no that's why i kept saying to myself my mom must not know this because my mom will kill me like literally my mom will actually kill me you guys this is how he actually like the next night i heard like the guy like oh you're not with the phone okay there's this native doctor they we call them babalawo okay babalawo 
that we're going to take you to the babalawo if we take you to the babalawo yeah then the babalawo is going to see it vision if it's you the babalawo is going to ask you to drink something if you drink it if it's you something is going to happen to you besides uh, um seven days something is going to happen to you because i didn't take this phone i was like yes let's go let's go to the babalawo you guys the mistake i did was do you know chichi your kitty pie stupidly my mother is upstairs i stupidly followed these people to babalawo you guys i went not telling my mom what's happening not even telling my mom or like, mom this 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 i went to babalawo house babalawo house is actually behind my mom shop when i was passing i was lucky my mom was not upstairs i think my brother was in the shop i think my mom normally leave the shop sometime for my brother because obviously i work when i come out from work i used to go there and my mom my i passed there and i went to balawo house like i'm like i didn't take the phone so i was even thinking smart thing like if i just go balawo was like oh you're uh, your c vision i'll probably tell them that i'm not the one that took the phone because i was just naive you know how you are like like a young girl I did not tell my mom because I was scared. This is why sometimes parents should not actually make their children to be too scared that they won't be they won't be able to tell them something. Like my mom made me be like, if you are here, you're dead. So I'm actually more scared of my mom because my mom would deal with me. She would probably use something, mortar or anything to sleep pass or whatever. I'm like, oh my mom was not at least this one cannot beat me. But my mom would deal with me. She just yelled at Rachel said you took her phone. I'm dead. I followed these people to this babalawo, like native doctor. Let me call it because some of you are not Nigerian, you won't know. It's native doctor, and the native do like boom, 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 do their concussion, blah, blah, blah. Did there and said, oh, are you not? Do you take it? Do you not take it? And I'm like, why are you ask me if I took it or not? Why are you ask me to do confession? If I'm the one that take it, just say, see the vision. Let's see. See that you will see me. They will bring me on the wall, and they will see, see me like, you know what? Let's just do and, and let me live here. The Balawo kept going and going and going and going and going. Apparently, the Balawo will like say, Oh, you don't want to confess, right? Don't want to confess. You want to drink and die. You this small girl. You want to kill yourself. Oh, I'm pitying you because I know your parents. My dad is a custom officer. So most people know my dad around there. He knows my dad as well. He knows my mom because my mom's shop is in the front of his, his um, uh, what's it called? Shrine, whatever. Like, oh, you this smoky, I pity you. You need to confess. If you do not confess and you drink this thing, ah, I pity you. Da, 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 da. And like people, I say, oh, she still want to drink. Hey, this girl, blah, blah, blah. The man was like, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put you here. You're going to confess. Leave her. Come back in the next three hours. She will confess. They were dragging this thing until it become late. Did it become late? It become late, late evening. I think my mom at that point I've already collected my phone, they've off my phone and all that stuff. Yeah. I think my mom was not looking for me. Yeah, my mom was not looking for me. And now people not told my mom. No, no, no. After them, I forgot. After then, the brother was like, okay, in that case, no, she reached and I said, okay, in that case, yeah, since she wants to drink and kill herself, she will not drink and kill herself for me. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take her to the police station. I'm gonna take her to the police station. Blah blah blah. So from Babala Awum, what do I from the native doctor doctor, the shrine, we now went to the police station. The police station is actually opposite the shrine. She now went and blah blah she now wrote statements that this girl blah 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 took my phone and none of that kind of stuff. He was really late. Guys, why is I was in the police station? Someone because I did I tell you my father, my dad, my stepdad, it's it's cosmos. Someone that knows my stepdad. I've already told my stepdad that Chichi is in the police station with some girl. They say she's still phone. Hey, that was the last straw. My mom heard that I actually followed to the my mom and I hide all the story. I actually went to the shrine from the shrine and went to the police station. My mom was like, You this girl. Did I not tell you? My mom, you, you won't believe, guys. My mom, hey, African mom. When you fumble, they will treat your fuck up. My mom and my daddy came to the station that night. And my dad actually told the policeman that let me sleep in that. Let him leave me. Let me sleep. My mom came. She shouted. She cursed me. Blah, blah, blah. That you're going to sleep in this police station. You're not going anywhere. Then my dad, my stepdad, that, leave her. Let her sleep here. Stupid girl. Did I not tell her about this? People? Useless girl. You follow them to shrine. You follow them. If anything happened to you, what will happen to you? If you die, can you go? 
my mom, choo, 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 she shout, shout, my stepdaughter, my stepdaughter, like, leave her, don't shout, don't put injury, let her stay here, we'll come in the morning to come and check her, but she had to suffer for it because you've already won her, blah, blah, blah. I know my mom, like, you know what, she had to face this consequence and everything. So, you guys, you won't believe, your kitty pie, popping cream, I slept in the police station. Yes. This guy wrote statement, I wrote statement, I wrote blah, 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 and they filed it and everything, and I slept in the station. You guys, I was there in the morning, yeah, then, that morning, she came in the morning, and by then, I think I've already called one of my uncle, yeah, one of my uncle and the mom to come, yeah, to the station, and the, my, my uncle now asked, asked, asked her, what do you want? Why do it? Why are you stressing this girl? She said she did not have your phone. What is your problem? She can't probably have your phone and sell it between two seconds. Like it's not. It's not anywhere in the house. My mother have said she have find everywhere in the house. My mother stopped everywhere. My mother kept telling the my uncle, um, kept telling my uncle and people that you know what, Chichi, I trust her. She will never take people's thing. But for this girl to disobey me. She will, I will let her suffer it. Next time, when I talk to her, she will not listen. The thing I like about my mom is this year. My mom believed me. She believed me. I love my mom because my mom know me. She always believed me. Even when I came back, she always she told me, I know you did not do it, but that you're disobedient. That if when you don't used to hear word, yeah, she like picking that not used to hear word. If picking that same mother will not sleep, she too will not sleep, blah blah blah. But she kept talking blah, 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 that. She know, she believed. Even my stepdad. I love my stepdad. Oh, he's late now. May he still rest in peace. But he, like, I know you didn't do that. Because everyone that knows me knows that the thing about me, eh, I, my eyes is not always in anybody's thing. Like, I don't even know how to borrow. I don't borrow shoe. I don't borrow anything. You know, in school, people borrowed stuff. I don't borrow nothing. I don't just want anybody's thing. Because my mother will kill me. So, but the thing is this, yeah. That uncle came that morning when she was there and the person was like oh what do you want? and my uncle was like what do you want do you want do you want phone if you want phone we're going to buy you a new phone so you can just let go so my uncle bought a phone for the girl well obviously used phone because her phone is used anyway like a brand you know those days they go ahead and new phone the same make that she said that i stole gave it to her and that's how the case finished and i went home guys let me make you laugh when I, oh, 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 I forgot this part. The morning, we, oh, in the morning when this girl came to the police station, this girl said she have seen the same card. Okay, it's raining, guys, imagine, look at this, listen to this story. It was raining and everywhere is muddy behind my house and everything. How can somebody see a SIM card? Like that one, you can, when people lie, yeah, I just like, how can you lie? Like this, this is not lie. She saw her SIM card <laughs> behind. Like, how can I possibly, possibly throw a SIM card in somewhere that is muddy and you will see your SIM card behind my house? So uh, she said she saw her SIM card behind my house. SIM card. And her SIM card is working. Guys, I was like, wow. That's when I realized, okay, this at, that, at a point, I was thinking she actually lost her phone. But later on, when she said she saw her SIM card, I was like, oh, I don't even know. What is happening here? Or is it because she's dating the guy? The guy just manipulates her? Or does she know and she just want to get a new phone? Or maybe she's in trouble and she's just thinking like, okay, since I'm in trouble, I just have to buy a new phone and then I'll sell my old phone and get a little money. Like, I just, I was just thinking a lot of stuff that, like, okay, maybe she planned with that guy or because she's dating the guy, maybe the guy actually stole it. I was just thinking, did the boy steal it and actually manipulate her because obviously they are dating now. I didn't know they were dating before. It's later on that I realized. I was just thinking a lot of stuff that like, was seriously. So if this sim, if, because at a point I was thinking the phone is, was lost, that he actually lost the phone. So she was just talking as an angry person that lost her phone. It was when they saw the sim, that sim made me realize that, wow, wow, this is actually a setup. I was like, wow, you can never trust people. Like this is somebody that will always call me to write things for her. She will call me to help her to buy something. She would. You know, she always like, oh, help me do this, help me do this. If I'm going to buy something, let's say I'm going to she'll be like, oh, Chichi, where are you guys? I'm going to buy bread. She say, okay, help me buy sugar, help me buy more, help me buy this. I will sneakily to take her money, buy it when I'm coming. I'll give her her own before I go upstairs. So uh, this is somebody that, 
you know, I did not even believe she can do this. So the story, what you can learn from this story is like, don't trust anybody. After then, when I go to people's house, just don't want to enter people's house. I'm not the type that will go to your house. I'm like, enter everywhere, enter Even though if you're my friend, if I go to your house, this is how I sit. I'm not just going to go anywhere. I'm just going to sit like this. And I just don't like going to people's houses. If you're my friend, I'm like, oh, let's go to the atrium. Let's go to this. Let's go to this. Let's get this. Let's get a hotel. Let's just chill there. Let's get uh, an apartment. Let's just chill there. Like, I just don't want to go to your house. You get it? Because I just don't want embarrassment. Like, this happened when I was younger, but... I know it might not happen now, but it can still happen. Wicked people are wicked people. So that is it. That's the end of my story. Like I said, I've already forgot about this. Yeah. It was that my aunt, uncle's wife that actually reminded me two weeks ago. So yeah. So that's it. Ooh, guys, let me know what you learned from this story. There is, I think there are a lot of moral lessons you can learn from this story. One, as a parent, don't make your kids that scared that they cannot actually tell you something. Don't be like, ah, if I see this, I will kill you. If you tell me this, I will deal with you. So they are actually scared. They don't want to tell you because imagine if I've actually told my mom. I might not even go to the shrine. Imagine if I actually drink any concussion there, something bad happened to me. Like, since this thing is actually the people, mal this thing was not even real that... The phone, the phone, they lost the phone. So imagine, because they didn't lost, lost the phone, they can actually bribe the, the native daughter to actually give me something that would just go. Anything could have happened to me. You never know. Like going to the shrine, like seriously. And that was because I was just scared of, of my mom, of what my parents would say to me. You know, as I mean, you know, I told her in the beginning, my stepdad, he has like connection. He actually, my stepdad, because he's um, custom, custom and police are like the same. So my stepdad knows everyone in the police station he actually knows them one by one like that you get because some of them because my stepdad was an army before some of them he have even you know them there's one other man that was an army before he joined police and my stepdad my stepdad that joined custom so he knows one of them he even know the dpo because uniform to uniform you know what i mean but i just did not tell them so imagine that's a big moral of the story also me as well i should have actually believed that my trust my mom i should have obeyed my mom when your mom said don't go here i should just know that she knows why she's saying don't go with this but she can just see not because i was thinking it was because of their livelihood or i was thinking it's because of their lifestyle that was my mom well i like mm, you know what? i'm not gonna do what they're doing so mom is okay but she's saying more she's saying like these people they can do anything you know so yeah that's it oh yeah so that's it guys i'm gonna tell you guys another story i have a lot of story i know this one is not that so it's not fun but you can learn something so apart from these two mentioned let me know another moral of the story okay mm -hmm. bye guys mm -hmm. <laughs>